Hey traders, guess what? You can put ChatGPT directly into your PineScript editor now with this Chrome browser plugin. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how it works and uh, give you an introduction to this tool. It's very, very cool. And check this out. You can even run optimizations directly in your browser, uh, but more on that later in the video. None of the material in this video is financial advice. You should always do your own research and due diligence before engaging in trading or investing. And please seek professional guidance if you need it. So what's this tool called? It is TradeSage and it's a Chrome browser plugin that you can install for free. You can get a free trial. There's a link in the video description and the pinned comment below. It's an affiliate link. So if you use my link, it's just a way to support the channel at no extra cost to you. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get started and how to get it set up. So the first thing you'll need to do is sign up, create an account, sign in with Google or create an account here. Once you've done that, go to the main page and click add to Chrome. Now I have already added this to my Chrome browser. Uh, there should be a button here to add the extension to your Chrome browser. Once you do that, simply jump over to TradingView and the app will be ready to go. And this is what it looks like. Just down here, this little inconspicuous tab added to your sidebar. You click on that, you'll need to log in. I've already signed into my account, but once you've signed into your account through this uh, little plugin here, it seamlessly integrates ChatGPT directly into your browser and your TradingView PineScript editor. It's pretty cool stuff. So what's the difference between this version of uh, ChatGPT and the regular version? Well, this one is trained on PineScript. So it's actually been taught uh, the latest PineScript documentation and it's custom built, custom tweaked to work specifically on PineScript. So if you haven't watched my previous videos on how I've used ChatGPT and PineScript uh, in the past, go and check them out because um, I think it'd be really helpful for those of you who are new to this technology, this tool. The vanilla ChatGPT, the official um, OpenAI ChatGPT tool isn't very good with PineScript. It's okay, it does a decent job, but it's not fantastic because it's not trained on PineScript and PineScript is still somewhat of a niche language. I mean, only traders use it. So it's not really, you know, even though there's millions of people using TradingView, that's still a niche programming language compared to things like C, C++, Python, JavaScript, all those sorts of languages. So it's not really good at doing PineScript, even though it can do it okay. This on the other hand, is built by a team of traders and software developers who have taken the ChatGPT language model and trained it on PineScript specifically. So it's much, much better suited to PineScript. The catch is it's a little bit slower than the vanilla ChatGPT, uh, but the trade-off is worth it. And I'm sure it'll get faster over time. So in today's video, I just wanna introduce you to it. I just wanna show you what it's capable of, just some various examples, creating script templates, debugging scripts, and playing around with PineScript ideas. Um, you can see there's some prompts here just to get started, like um, explain the security function. If I click on that, uh, it will do a better job of explaining these things probably than the documentation does, or it will at least give you a second um, description that might help better explain some concepts. As I've said in the past with tools like ChatGPT and other language models, AI models, uh, you still need to know what you're doing. If you don't know how PineScript works, these sorts of tools aren't going to magically solve all your problems. And they are prone to errors. Sometimes they will give you incorrect code or incorrect solutions. Sometimes it'll be complete nonsense. And other times it'll be fantastic, 100% accurate, exactly what you need. And so if you don't know the language, um, at least on an intermediate level, you will probably still struggle to use these tools. So I still think educating yourself about PineScript and watching the other videos on my channel, how to code, how to learn um, this language is still important. This isn't a crutch that you can just depend on uh, to fix your lack of knowledge or laziness to not want to learn uh, coding and, and proper trading techniques. You still need to do all of that. Uh, but this tool significantly speeds up your process. I've started using tools like this almost daily in my coding process. It's become a really, uh, really powerful. It's like having an assistant, really. That's that's the best way to describe it. It's like having an assistant you don't have to pay. <laughs> you don't have to explain things to. You don't have to uh, treat like a human being. <laughs> that's the world we're heading into. Uh, but anyway, let's break down what this is capable of. Let's have a look at a few examples. And again, if you wanna play along with this, uh, play alongside me doing all of this, um, go and get this tool. The link is in the video description and pinned comment below. So here we have clicked the prompt, explain the use of the security function in PineScript. 
And here we go, let's copy this code over to see if it works, paste it in there. Um, I'll jump over to the daily chart since this is referencing the daily Apple price. Let's go over to Apple. And there you go, if I hover over uh, last night's close, 173.3, 173.3. This AI model's just generated some code that we can just copy paste into our script and it's ready to go. So this sidebar tool is really helpful for exploring ideas, asking questions, chatting back and forth with the tool. If you wanna iterate on an idea um, or you're trying to understand a concept better, this is a good place to go to do that. If you want help with your actual script, this is where the inline generator comes in handy. So this is added directly to your Pine Editor as well. So you've got two buttons here, this one down here and this one in your Pine Editor. If I click on this, I can say something like, generate a template script that detects uh, moving average crossovers, enter. Now it does take a minute, it takes a, a little while to generate this code, but there we go. Click accept. I paste that script into my editor, save, and we have a functioning moving average crossover script. Let's add some um, labels to this. See, it's drawing um, signals onto the chart whenever the crossover happens. So now let's ask it to draw labels whenever there's a buy or sell opportunity on this um, example template. Um, let's highlight where the signals are detected and say, add text labels to this code on my chart. There we go, have a look at that. How quick was that? Click accept, it edits my script, saved my code, and I should be now getting labels drawing onto the chart, look at that, amazing. See what I mean by how much time this can save? Obviously, I could have written this out myself, but when it comes to things like labels, I'll often forget what the, the order of the parameters are, and I often have to click the um, reference manual and have a quick look and read through here and find the find um, what I need the function template add all this code in with this new tool I can just highlight some code and say improve it and then tell it how I want it to go about doing that let's try something else let's try asking it to generate a Bollinger Band mean reversion indicator script all right here we go let's have a quick look uh, it's detecting crossovers of price over the lower and upper bands. Okay, interesting. Let's accept the script, save it, and add it to our chart, and have a quick look at what's happening. All right, not bad. Uh, probably using this on Bitcoin is not a good idea. You'd probably want to use it on um, on the stock market more than Bitcoin because Bitcoin doesn't tend to mean revert uh, very often. This is much better. This is on the S&P 500. You can see these signals are a lot better than on crypto, um, and not not bad, not bad here. Let's try highlighting this code and say, convert this script into a strategy script. See what happens. Let's have a quick look. Strategy, um, entry, exit, okay, not bad. It hasn't added exit signals. It's only going to exit um, when an opposite signal is detected, but that's okay for now. Let's accept that, save the code, see how it looks. There we go. <laughs> Uh, interesting, let's change our uh, position size to percentage of equity. I'll drop this down to a more reasonable number and click OK. <laughs> there we go, <laughs> this system. Uh, it's got a nasty drawdown, but it's um, technically profitable. So that's interesting. Now it, it needs improvement, but it's a great template to work with. I can't deny that. Now it does have some um, deprecated code in here. Let's get rid of these and uh, save that code. Let's see if we can tell it to exit long trades when price crosses the middle line and exit short trades when price crosses below the middle line. Let's see if we can do that. Now, if you use the tool, you'll learn over time that the quality of these scripts will depend on the quality of the prompts. And over time, you'll learn um, how it responds uh, better and be able to um, adapt your prompts based on your experience with the tool. That's been my experience with the vanilla chat GPT anyway. Um, all right, that looks all right. Let's save our code, make sure it's exiting at the middle band. Looks good. All right. Um, let's tell it to remove these whens. Um, the when parameter is deprecated. Can you remove it? please. 
Now we could obviously remove this ourselves, but I just want to see if we can um, ask it questions like this and have it fix the script. So let's have a quick look. Yep, it removed it. Awesome. Accept. Save the code. And there we have it. We have a uh, Bollinger Band mean reversion template system. And we wrote barely any code. In this particular script, I didn't write any code. I just asked uh, prompts, questions. Let's have a look at the results. Uh, a little bit better. Uh, but anyway, the purpose of this isn't to create a, a script. It's to create templates that we can play around with. And we can even run optimizations directly in the TradingView platform now with this tool. So for example, if I wanted to test um, this Bollinger Band length from 20 to, th uh, let's say, 50 in steps of five. So incrementing this by five each run, I can click start. The tool is now running several different tests in the background. And when it's done, it will display how those various indicator options behaved. And here we go, here's my list of various profits. It even splits them by long and short. And we can even come down to the bottom here, click export. And now I have an Excel spreadsheet that outputs all of the various indicator runs or optimization runs, and I can perform additional analysis on this information. But there you go, just some ideas to play around with. It's a pretty cool uh, tool. There's a good chance this could become a regular part of my coding process in the future. Uh, for example, if I'm experiencing a bug with some code, I could just copy it here, um, open up the side panel here, paste it in and say, uh, explain this code to me. And here comes a detailed description of the code I've um, pasted in. Here is the most complicated part of this code. Um, here, the standard deviation of the data series over the specified length is calculated using the result. Dev represents the deviation distance that will be added to and subtracted from the basis to find the upper and lower bands. So yeah, you get the idea. This is just a quick introduction crash course into what this tool is, what it's capable of. And in future videos, who knows, it might uh, make another appearance. I'll be leaving this installed and when I'm working on scripts, um, if I run into issues or just want to speed things up, I can use this inline generator to help with that. Now, again, you can get a free trial for this uh, links below. So you don't need to pay anything to play around with it and see if it's something that you want to implement into your coding process. Now it does need some work. This technology is pretty new, fairly new, these uh, language models. Um, but that's the beauty of uh, the way these things work is that over time they learn and they get better. So this is just the beginning of this tool and I'm sure it's going to improve dramatically in the years to come. If you'd like to learn more about PineScript, check out our website. I have a completely free six hour PineScript basics course there, which explains the core fundamentals of Pine. And if you want to take your coding skills to the next level, check out my mastery course. We have over 50 hours of content and 50 plus five star reviews and growing. The PineScript mastery course also comes with support where I can help answer any questions you have about PineScript coding. And of course, there's tons of free content on my YouTube channel. So if you're new to PineScript, go and check that out too. With all of that said, I hope you found this video interesting and this tool interesting. If you did, make sure to check it out. Best of luck with your trading and I'll speak with you in the next video. Take care.